For breaking news coming in at this point in time, India is likely to be imposed a fine of $10,000 for withdrawing the name of seven sportspersons at the last minute from the Asian Games. The IOA Secretary General Rajiv Mehta has confirmed this uh, two headlines today. He has, of course, refused to speak on camera. Uh, this is what he has, in fact, told our reporters that OCA had a meeting last night with us and they told us uh, that they will impose a fine of at least $10,000 on uh, IO on IOA for withdrawing seven sportspersons at the last minute. The sports ministry is entirely responsible for this yeah, as they had done this and off. this is an embarrassment uh, for us. We tried to convince them but they are not listening to us. This is what uh, uh, the General Secretary has in fact confirmed to reporters at headlines today. Uh, editor, uh, my, my colleague from a sister concerned mail today, S. Kanan, is now joining me on the phone line. Former, uh, we're given to understand that there will be a fine of 10,000 US dollars for withdrawing seven persons, uh, seven sports persons at the very last minute. And the onus for this rests entirely on the sports ministry. See, actually, uh, the withdrawal is not of just uh, seven uh, sports persons. It's of withdrawing certain disciplines where India had sent their entries. Right. And uh, for the rugby event, the draw had already been made. So once the draw is made for any competition and a dream withdraws, it uh, creates a lot of turmoil. Uh, the, the, the blame obviously is on the sports ministry because the sports ministry and the sports authority of India were uh, dwindling over it, wasting a lot of time. Uh, once the uh, IOA had cleared uh, the contingent, the huge giant contingent, they wanted approval. But then uh, these days when uh, IOA is expecting the government to support all disciplines, right. they, the, the ministry felt that it was not right uh, to send teams where there is no chance of winning a medal. To blame sports ministry is wrong because sports ministry is spending the taxpayers' money on all disciplines. Right. As regards the IOA, they were supposed to give the team list, whether it is a jumbo 942 contingent to the uh, sports ministry and the SAI, one month in advance, but they gave hardly eight, nine days notice to them. The second right. point, there was a lot of pressure on which teams needed to be cleared. We are talking about a fine of $10,000 which obviously is a lot of money and uh, that same amount of money can be used you know, for sports development by the IOA. Absolutely. Also, we are given to understand at this point in time that the IOA Secretary General uh, Rajiv Mehta has in fact also uh, come out and raised another issue that if, uh, you know, uh, if, if an incident like this reoccurs, uh, then India has uh, the chances of facing a ban in, that, in, in the future. How... Uh, how no, true no, no, is the no. threat there of a no, ban? There is no, no, there is no question of a ban. There is, there is no question of a ban. We should not forget that after the London Olympics, the Indian uh, Olympic Association was suspended. There was no ban. It was right. suspended by the International Olympic Committee. And it took almost 11 months for the mess to get cleared because all tainted uh, officials had to be thrown out. The, new, the constitution had to be respected. Age and tenure limits. Those charge frame or charge sheeted had to be kept out. So there is no question of a ban. I mean, the OCA at the most can use its influence, exert pressure on India vis-a-vis -vis Asian Games. You are not talking about Olympics. Right. That is totally the prerogative of the International Olympic Committee. And Thomas Bach uh, was also here in Incheon yesterday. The right. OC. I mean, the OCA, obviously, if it has done something like this, I have an eyeing suspicion. It is also a role played by Secretary General Randhir Singh, who is probably wanting to take his revenge because uh, he is the Secretary General now of the OCA and he was the former IOA Secretary General. Right. And I think he obviously has not been able to digest it till now that he is no longer part of the IOA after being in it for 27 years. I think if you have an Indian sitting in the Olympic Council of Asia, they need to be favoring India and not indulging in any kind of damage, right. you know, $10,000. This is very, very sad because uh, Randhir Singh has been a sports person. And what is the use of having an Indian OCA if he's not going to support India, is my question. Well, absolutely. And uh, it is a hugely embarrassing situation at this point in time. India is likely to be imposed a fine of 10,000 US dollars for withdrawing from seven sports at the last minute uh, from the Asian Games. This is the latest news that we are, in fact, getting in. Uh, S. Kanan, thanks so much for speaking to us on that.